Hello! I don't, I have no idea, I know, I, <laughs> I can't even speak. I have no idea what that is, what, <laughs> English language, come insert yourself into my body. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this again. Hello, friends, welcome to my, my face. Yes, my face, once again, it is so good to see you guys. I wanted to do a drop in with a little video here and give you guys five of my like easy beauty hacks to create a no fail instantaneous five minute out the door makeup look for the springtime. Now I, I use the word hacks lightly. I feel like beauty hacks and like skin hacks and all of the hacks, I think they're like kind of overdone and cliche and ridiculous at this point. But I wanna give you guys some practical shortcut hack tips, tricks that I like to use on my face. This video once again is in partnership with Ipsy so I'm going to be showing you all of the products from this month's beautiful glam bag and they were speaking my language when they made rose gold because rose gold is my favorite thing ever. If you guys have not already subscribed to my brand new channel which is called Swoop, I will have that linked in the description and pinned in the top comment of this video. I am posting like my beauty and fashion-y stuff here and then on my Swoop channel I'm doing all of the like the big comedy videos and my short films and music videos and comedy music and all of my collabs. All of the good things are happening on Swoop so make sure that you guys are subscribed to my new channel. Also before we dive into this right now leave me a comment and let me know a TV show that you guys are like watching that you're really into right now because I need something to watch. Let me know some shows or movies or anything, YouTube videos, something that I need to watch. I need things. I need to the things. All right. Without further ado, let's create this easy five minute springtime look. All right, first things first, before I do anything in the morning when I get up, I am going to address my hair situation. And you guys can see there's like, there's some fuzz. It's just kind of, it's just, ugh. it has no texture. It's frizzy at the ends. I haven't washed it in a few days. So what I like to do is to just set my hair up with some leave-in conditioner. And then I'm gonna go about like doing my makeup and getting dressed and like having breakfast if I have time. And then when I take my hair out of this prep it's gonna have some like nice soft curl to it and definition so <laughs> now what I'm first gonna do is get my hair a little bit damp uh, you don't want your hair like soaking wet for this otherwise it'll just take forever to set all right so I'm just gonna kind of brush out that water I'm gonna go ahead and grab my leave-in conditioner and for this I'm going to use the Foxy Bay Flamingo leave-in cream conditioner this is gonna help detangle and tame frizz and hydrate the hair and it's also gonna give you some nice shine which we like to have especially for that glowy look in the springtime what I really want to focus this on is going to be predominantly through the ends of my hair and yes I am wearing sweatpants with a nice blouse because YouTube life you know what I'm saying <laughs> So then I'm just going to basically take my hair and twist it. You guys have probably seen me do this a bunch of times. And I want to make sure to tuck in my ends underneath. Go. Now we can see her. Now we can see the whole buns. And boom. We see it. We see it. We like it. We like. Like this whole thing literally took me 30 seconds just to twist it up there and put it up. And this is like a really cute look if I just want to go out or run errands or go to school or to work or whatever. But of course if you do want to have some soft beachy wave curls at first thing in your day then I do this right when I get up and I allow it to dry while I'm doing the rest of the things in my morning and then by the time I take it down which I'll show you at the end of this video uh, you'll see like these nice soft wavy curls all right back back up to a uh, back up to normal position here and let's paint the face all right so moving on while my hair is drying I'm going to go ahead and take care of my skin now this is something that you could do the night before if you really do want to do like a true five minute only situation to your face in the morning then I recommend doing these things the night before. All right, so the easiest way. <laughs> Sorry, I just. <sighs> I felt like I wasn't speaking fast enough and I had to do a few little. I just need to stretch the mouth out and like. <laughs> All right, let's. <laughs> 
one of those days, people. All right, so the most surefire way to have clean, glowy, spring, dewy skin is to make sure that your skin is nice and cleansed. So I am first going to go in with a cleansing balm. This is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy. Now this is a balm to oil formula, which I just, oh my gosh, it literally just melts right into the skin. It's so luxurious. And this helps to like really dissolve and melt away any like stubborn makeup you might have left over. And this also won't like over dry your skin or strip anything away. It just really hydrates and soothes it. Oh, it smells so good. Ah, I just like want to eat it. Please, please don't eat it. <laughs> All right, so I've cleansed away all of my sins and secrets for the day. So now I'm going to do something that's a little bit, a little extra, but so worth it. I'm going to do a glowy, a little peel off mask. This is the I Do Care Disco Kitten Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask. So this is infused with a pearl powder that's going to gently exfoliate your skin and a diamond powder that's going to boost elasticity and remove like any kind of impurities and really help to brighten and liven up your skin. Now you can do this across the entire face of course or you can just do this in like whatever your targeted areas you want to focus on so for me it's gonna be um, the areas where I have like the largest pores which are on the top of my cheeks here and also on my nose all right so for all of you who have like appealing fantasy then this is definitely the mask for you simply peel her off all right, so now it's time for the quick and easy, no fail, hacky face. That sounds weird, but you guys know what I mean. Right. I like to use a primer before I do my foundation, but sometimes primers can take a little long. But did you know that you could have a little spray on primer? So I'm gonna use one that has some hydrating elements. And boom, skin is prepped and ready. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lately, I'm much more into like a bushier, more natural brow, and I think that things are kind of moving back in that direction. So what I recommend is for you guys to use a tinted brow gel. I'm just saying if you want to go quick and out the door, but you do want to do something to those little draperies, if the, if the eyes are the windows to the soul. Are the brows the drapes or are the eyelashes the drapes? I don't, do, do people even use drapes anymore? The, like the, the window treatment. Are they the window treatment to, okay, I'm sorry. I got distracted. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> a little brow gel. It is like a dish. All right, and boom. Literally, my brows took me like 15 seconds to do. Ordinarily, they might take me up to 10 minutes to do sometimes if they're like really just pissing me off. <laughs> now, I realize some people won't be caught dead without their brows penciled in and like to each their own. I just kind of feel like we are taking it back to the runway models in Milan at spring fashion season circa 19... Yeah. It's time to cover the sins of our fathers. I'm gonna put on some foundation. I am going to throw on a BB cream. This is not only going to be very hydrating to the skin, but it also has SPF 30 in it, which is great. Springtime, you're probably gonna be out a little bit more. It's important to protect the skin. If you want to have a very, very glowy, I don't know what this accent is. I need to stop, I'm sorry. Then I am going to take a glowy um, illuminating moisturizer as such and I'm going to add that into my foundation and I'm going to mix those two to the gather again with these accents I'm sorry I'm so sorry and then I'm just going to brush that all over to the face all over to the face again I don't know who I'm channeling right now I might not be able to stop today this just is what it is all right let's give her a name leave me a comment down below and let's name this this new accented lady that is coming out of me right now I think we're looking pretty good it's a little light little touch light but that's okay it is okay now because I want to keep this whole thing quick and simple I'm just gonna apply my concealer really underneath my eyes and maybe on the sides of my nose there and not not much more and voila we are lifted we are bright I am just going to set the concealer underneath my eyes just to avoid any creasing and then of course if you guys have any like extra oiliness in your t-zone that you need to go ahead and set feel free to do so welcome to a close-up of my face aren't you lucky <laughs> 
I, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm, I am, I just apologize for this whole video. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes in as few steps as humanly possible. Basically like two steps, maybe a third if you're feeling, if you're feeling a little extra. Instead of going in with eyeshadows and liners and like having to blend and do all that kind of crazy stuff, I am literally just going to go in with an eye topper. Now generally speaking, an eye topper works best over the top of an eye shadow to just like really create a pop, but if you apply it just directly to your lid, it gives you a nice, a little more subtle, radiant kind of glow to your eyes. So I'm gonna try a very, very gold one and just apply, see, bam, do you guys see that? And I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Remember those natural blending tools that you have? I'm fading it up into the crease area. Uh, I just love it and like that's literally all we have to do now sometimes I like to add a little bit of pop of color to my eye I like to emphasize with some blues or some greens since I have brown eyes So I'm just gonna take a colored liner and line my lower waterline with that just to give us a nice pop Right, so you could skip everything that I just did to my face except for what I'm about to do Which is add some mascara the easiest way to make your face look instantly put together in my opinion is some mascara and some lips this is the Tarte Man Eater Voluptuous Mascara. This is a volumizing, lengthening, and curling mascara that has a soft flex brush and a lightweight triple black formula. To finish off the face, there's not a whole lot we're gonna do. I'm going to do just a little bit of bronzer to kind of give my, my very, my pillow. I look like an untoasted marshmallow right now, just a cube of round puff. So I personally like to have a little definition and I'm going to do that just with a little bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and skip doing all of the contour shading and just kind of use my bronzer to liven up that area that classic three So I'm just gonna go bop and a bop around the forehead. So I'm just going to hit those areas all right, so that's done in about 30 seconds and we have some extra definition. Now, um, one of my favorite things to do, and it's so quick and easy, is to apply first a liquid highlighter base and then go over the top of it and set it with your powder highlighter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna go in with my powder highlighter. This is the Afterglow Mini Highlighting Skin Perfecting Powder by Pure. Now this is a really blendable, lightweight formula. You can wear it with or without makeup if you wanted to do it without any foundation at all. And it's an illuminating highlighter that has an iridescent gold shimmer shade. Beautiful, with the eye and the little teal. I'm, just, I'm liking this look, people, I'm liking it. And now if you wanna get a little more precise with your highlight placement, I'm gonna go in and use a short shader brush in a few areas. This is the SL Miss Glam SS62 Short Shader Brush. And this rose gold glitter might be the cutest thing that I have ever seen in my life. And I like to use a brush like this just to apply my highlighter to the tip of my nose, down the center of my nose, and above my cupid's bow area, just to give it like some really targeted highlight. Now finally, to finish off this entire effortless look for the spring, we're gonna go in with a lip, and I chose a very lovely springtime color. This is the Jolie Cosmetics Luxe Cream Matte in the shade Lavanda. This is a creamy, rich formula that's packed with waxes and oils, giving you a super soft matte finish, and it's comfortable for all day wear. And to fully, fully finish this off, and then we're gonna take down the hair and like show the whole thing, uh, we're gonna move from the lips to the tips, and I'm talking about polishing us off. This is the Helios Luminor Polish in the the shade Livin Lovely. Now this combines a nail color and a top coat with a photo initiator for a gel-like look. I just look like I got a summer glowy tan in this studio right now. All right, that completes this look. Now again, you could just leave your hair up in the little bun just like this. Boop. Oh, why does this pin not want to come out? Ah, come out, come out. There you go, there you go. There we go, there we go. Much more presentable for the world. <laughs> All right guys, that completes everything. I hope you enjoyed this. Once again, make sure to subscribe to my new channel, Swoop, which is linked in the description below of this video, and I'll have it pinned in the top comment as well. I have a brand new short film that I just released yesterday on that channel, which I think you guys are really going to love, so I will link to it. Please do check it out, watch it, comment over there, 
let me know that you came from this channel and I will respond back to you guys. And thank you so much for supporting me on my new channel over there and all of my new endeavors. Once again, thank you to Ipsy and all of the brand partners for the products that I showcased in this video. I will have all of the products that I use from the Glam Bag linked in the description as always of this video. And leave me a comment, let me know what kind of videos you want me to do next on this channel and I will see you guys right now over on Swoop. So click on over to Swoop and I will see you guys there. Love you so much. Smooches. Bye.